All right, hi guys. It's kind of crazy to have this whole uh, recording thing back up. It's just a lot easier than using Nox, honestly, to me at least. So it was worth the investment to get this all set up back and ready to go. Um, we got a few orbs here that I gr ground up. Um, so I guess we'll do a quick little summoning session and then we'll talk about what's coming up with the newest April update that's coming out soon. And also, I just wanted to say thanks, guys, for being awesome. Um, all that fun stuff. Try and check out my, my LPs as well. We're bringing back Night in the Woods and also 999, which is a fantastic game that has now been remastered and is out on Steam and the PlayStation 4. Anyways, hey, this actually looks like a decent pull. We'll try it out. We'll see what happens. If any of those greens are Camilla's, I will scream. That is a three star. That sucks. Oh. Hi. Ray? I mean, I guess that's Ray, right? G-H. Nonsense with these names. I hate it. <laughs> Anyways. One of these days we'll get something good. One of these days. I know it right now. One of these days. Oh, hey, Sully. She's the Crimson Knight. I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um... Just so, well, one second, I need to, hmm. Oh, okay, just making sure that everything's set to go for this while I talk to you guys about things. Um, and that's a three star, that blows butts. Is it Matthew? No, it's Felicia. I actually like Felicia more. Thank you. <laughs> At least better than what I was expecting to get, honestly. And let's see if we get any greens, good greens at all. Anyways, um, oh, well. Four star something, at least. Raven again. Okay, cool. I don't mind Raven. He at least has some useful skills, and I believe I have a five star of him, so that's at least nice to have. Granted, the appearance rates on this are gonna be, like, dropping down a bit. <laughs> oh, hey. Another possible four star. And that's just disappointing. Your mustache is back to offend me, Bart. Okay, Bartry. Bartray. Is it, sad, is it sad that it reminds me of the word betrayal? <laughs> Which is what this game is doing to me. It's betrayed me. Yeah, the, the appearance rates weren't that great. Unfortunately, that's mostly because I got a lot of Minervas before the focus banner, which kind of is weird, but oh well. Hi, Marth. Anyways, so, I guess it's time to talk about a few things since we can while I try to <laughs> level up a few things. But I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about the April update because a few more details came out. Mostly this is thanks to the FE Heroes News uh, Twitter feed. Um, this is actually a fan-made, <laughs> a fan-run Twitter page that translates everything in from Japanese into English. And we have some things to talk about real quick since we can. Figure why not. So the first thing that they actually showed off is that um, at the start of the battle you'll be able to configure your formation, which is something that's always been in Fire Emblem. Kind of nice to see it. Uh, come into Heroes, at least. That's at least what we're being told is going to happen. You'll be, edit be able to edit your formation and change what you, uh, where you want the units to start off at, which was something that I actually had a problem in the Mikolas fight, because for some reason Effie was in the wrong situation half the time, and that was just a bummer for me. <laughs> oh, I forgot to... Oh, hey, we got another orb. Five orbs. Might as well try that out again. This is going to be the last time I actually summon before Butch, by the way. I oh, you know what? There's green. Let's go for green. Because people are going to be mad at me if I don't get a Camilla. Eh? Yeah. Get something, at least. Yeah, that was not quite what I was hoping for. But, oh well. Yeah, I know who you are, Frederick. Seriously, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, as we were saying, so as I go in, I'm going to try and level up Tharja here because I realized with the Frederick, uh, with that the Frederick, the Miklas fight that uh, I am lacking in some mages who are honestly a little bit better at uh, trying to <laughs> do their, uh, you know, lacking range. Basically, I'm actually considering Tharja and also Klein, who I believe is down here somewhere. Down here somewhere. Where are you, buddy? I know you're... Oh, there you are. No, actually, I was thinking George or Klein. Both of them are pretty good. I have George at plus one because, well... 
best I could do with that for right now. Um, and I'll probably level him up and get him going. So might as well bring him along. Um, yeah, we can get rid of that and just probably pop down a healer in a second. But anyways... <laughs> Well, let me just get Sakura on here real quick, and then we'll go off and we'll level a bit while I talk to you guys about a few things. I was not prepared for any of this, but oh well. Anyways, we'll probably take George just because we have him at plus one right now. It's not going to matter if we get him to five stars, though. But, you know, that was kind of the unfortunate situation. That, that was not what I wanted to do. I still need to do a lot of the hard mode on this. Like, I've been neglecting a lot of it, <laughs> obviously. But anyways, okay. So. That is the first update, is the change to possible positions at the start of the battle. They're also making EXP adjustments, apparently. Heroes from 1 star to 4 star will now earn more EXP in battle the lower the star ranking. So more EXP is always kind of nice. Oh, there's a flying unit in this. I'm just going to see if any of them move. If not, I'm going to move, move Effie down here. And hopefully that'll trigger a few things. But anyways. But the biggest portion that I saw... Jesus, Effie, you're just going to... I kind of forgot that that's going to happen. Hopefully, we'll get some units that won't try to just outright destroy Effie, but, you know. That's just going to be how it's going to go. I'm going to move Effie back here, and we'll wait and see what happens. <laughs> Anyways, um, the other thing that they're also talking about with this one, and this one's a big one that I'm actually really excited about. Um, wow, Sakura's just going to absolutely destroy them. Um, the big one there is that they're expanding... Stamina like they're going to ex expand the stamina cap. It'll be raising from 50 Which is what it is now to a maximum of 99 not only that but like um, from my understanding Nowadays it, Yeah, this one was a wash. I should have brought some other characters along that wouldn't have just ate away at this Oh, well at least the stamina <laughs> Speaking of stamina, but anyways not only will it also expand the cap to you know, uh, 99, but it will also expand the, uh, you know what, we should probably just do Training Tower 1. I, I thought I was on 1, but I guess not. I guess I went to, to the utmost uh, echelons there. Still, nonetheless, um, as I was saying, um, the stamina will be regened from, you know, like, stamina potion, things like that, will also just instantly go to 99. It's not going to be like, oh, hey, here's all these, you know, these new, uh, <laughs> what is it? These new stamina reject things, you know, but we're not gonna, we're only gonna restore four. Or, I mean, 50 every time, so. Thankfully, they're not gonna be doing that. They're going to be allowing you to restore your full stamina, 99 of it, when it comes out. Which is a nice little thing to have. Definitely a lot better than what I was imagining they would do. I honestly thought when, when there was talks about upgrading stamina, they'd be like, here, here's a stamina potion and stamina potion plus. And you get to do that! Isn't that great? And it's just like, uh, sure. <laughs> but also we have, you know, a big update coming in April. That's the big thing, is like, you know, the adjustments to the arena, which still hasn't happened. Um, that's kind of why, like, arenas, I, <laughs> arena's a little weird for me right now. Honestly, if I were to discuss it in any fashion, it's... A very strange system right now because of the whole inheritance system changing a lot of the fundamentals of the game and this is gonna be weird I'm pretty sure we're gonna be attacked here or he's going to be attacked but no biggie anyways um that's why we brought a healer along yeah good job there okay well I mean at least at least he got a few George is a funny archer, by the way, in case you ever decide to use him. Anyways, but <laughs> I'm a little bit ra rambling right now. I do apologize, but What's next? that's just kind of my style. I need to change George's ability because while I like archers, um, I don't like archers with huge, amazing abilities like that that don't really do much. <laughs> Still, nonetheless, as I was saying, um, we, we do have the big update in... Uh, in April, and there's actually going to be, I believe on the 30th, the summon banner for Blazing Sword actually changes. Which is good, because I have been getting so sick and tired of that one. Like, seriously, that is... I mean, I love the characters that are there, but like... Christ, there have been so many... I mean, it's felt like forever. But then again, new month, new, th you know, new heroes. I kind of want to know what you guys want to, you know, see when it comes down to new heroes. Like, what... I know some people are going to be like, why don't you just talk about Ike? I should have brought along Ninian. Damn it. 
I didn't even think about that. Anyways, and please move aside, Minerva, so I can heal. Anyways. <laughs> but as I was saying, um, what what kind of heroes do you guys expect in the next one? They've all kind of had a theme for the most part. Personally, I would like to see Ike. Of course, everyone's going to be like, yeah, we like Ike, but like, you know, <laughs> what what else are you going to... What else, what other characters would you like? Personally, I would like to see some characters, uh, from Awakening, a bit more of them, perhaps. Um, I would like to see the ch children units, actually. I wonder how they're gonna ha handle, like, the children units from Fates and Awakening, because they were so different. I'm hoping, like, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that they won't be, like, changed too much and just be, like, Every different version of them has a different hairstyle or something, like, different hair color, but... Ooh, all flying units. This is kind of nice for you, George. Still. Anyways, um... It's it's just a really strange thing. I kind of want to see Morgan in them. Um, I do want to see... I also want to see... God, I can't remember her name. Um, Tharja's child, because she was insane and weird. I wonder how well that will translate over to a character in this game, but... Maybe I'm just being too weird. I still f I forgot to get an Indian. Damn it. Anyways, don't mind my rambling. But we still have so much to look forward to in this game, and we're going to be doing a lot more as time goes on. I'm kind of hoping... I mean, you can keep trying to attack her, I don't mind. As long as you don't try to attack anyone else, I will get some EXP out of this. This is what my plan is, but... Yeah. <laughs> I want to see the kids from Awakenings and Fates. Awakenings, Awakening, and Fates, and hopefully, yeah, you keep doing that, you're getting places, you blue lancer, you, and hopefully, we see some interesting characters, I want to see some more of the earlier games as well, because, I'll be quite honest, I'm not too familiar with it, of course, we do have, um, I believe it's Alm and Cecilia coming up, probably, because, you know, Echoes is coming out in May, I expect to see them in May, if not April, honestly, because that big update's coming, so. But yeah, I figured I would take the time to discuss with you guys, see if we got anything good from summonings, the last attempt I ever do at that summons, because I am getting so sick and tired of seeing these heroes. I have seen so much of Rebecca, I am about to puke, and I have like, I'm fairly sure I have quite a few Rebecca, I mean Priscilla's as well. Yeah, I have three of her, I really need to find out which one's the better. Like, I want one with defense and maybe a bit more resistance. Okay, that one has a bit more defense. <laughs> this is how I go through selecting. I'm going to have to run them through the IV calculator when I get the chance. Still, nonetheless, pick a, pick a, pick a mage for me to level up, guys. I mean, I'm thinking Lilina, Tharja, or Leo. I like Olwen, but I'm looking at red units right now because that Nicholas fight really threw me for a loop. Anyways, that's about it for now, guys. I will catch you all on the other side. I don't know what that means, but I'm hoping I'm not going to die in the next few days. We'll see. <laughs>